Okay, so I'm going to create my public class RPS for rock, paper, scissors. I'm going to create my main method, public static void main, where I'm going to type my program. This is just because of Java, but again, um, in programming, in a higher programming, you will know what this means, but for now, this is just the start of a Java program, and whatever programming you do goes in here. Okay, uh, I assume you know some Java so far and how to get input and output from the um, console. We're going to need to import two things. A, a scanner to be able to read, and, uh, to read input from the keyboard, and B, we're going to import a random number generator, which is a class, an object, that you can ask for a random number at any given point in time. So let's, uh, let's do that. So you just write up at the top of the file import java util scanner, import java util random. This will import the scanner, which helps us read stuff from the keyboard, and random, which helps us generate random numbers. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize a scanner and a random variable, right? And also, I'm going to initialize scores for rock, paper, scissors. One score for the computer, one score for me. I'll explain why in a second. Scanner here, I'm going to call it Keyb for keyboard. It's going to be this is how you initialize a scanner to read from the keyboard. And then random, I'm going to call it rand, and this is how you initialize the random number generator. Now, I'm also going to have these two scores, one for the computer, one for the user, right? I'm going to be the computer, you are going to be the user. Now, why do I do this? Well, because this is a rock, paper, scissors, and the first one that wins 10 times or 10 points wins the game. That's just because I, I decided that was going to be the game. Okay. Now, the next thing that we need to do is ask the user. Uh, we're going to ask whether the, users, the user actually wants to play this game. So we're going to put a system out print line. Do you want to start a new game? Y and for yes and no. We're going to create a, stri a string variable called play, and that's going to read the next line from the keyboard. And I'm going to have a boolean called in-game that's equal to whether play, whatever you entered, is equal to the letter Y. So basically, if you enter the letter Y, this, vari this value is to true, and this variable in-game is true. If you say no or anything else, this variable in game will evaluate to false because whatever you entered is not equal to the letter Y. Okay, so this in game basically is going to tell me whether you want to play or not. And now, if you want to play, then I will start a while loop that's going to repeatedly ask for rock, paper, scissors and have the computer also draw rock, paper, scissors. So my while loop is going to only start if in-game is true. So I'm going to say while in-game, so while in-game is true, then do the whole routine. And the whole routine starts as follows. Oh, by the way, sorry, before that, my while loop is going to start if I'm in the game, but also it's going to monitor whether my score or your score, the computer score or the user score, is less than 10. If the computer score reaches 10, then the computer won and sh the while loop should exit. If the user score reaches 10, then the user won and the computer should exit from the while loop. Okay? And again, if I respond to the in-game, if I respond no, then it should exit. Because in any of these circumstances, the while loop should exit. That's why I use an AND. Okay? Because if any of these is false, then the whole expression evaluates to false. Okay, one thing and another thing and another thing will evaluate to true only if these things are all true. What meaning? I decided to play the game. My score is not ten, and your score is not ten yet. Well, all this happens. If all this holds, then I'm going to play the game. So the first thing to do in the game is actually ask the user. Enter 0 for rock, 1 for paper, 2 for scissors, and have them enter the number, and I'm going to save it in user. After the user enters the number, the computer will randomly choose between 0 and 2. And to do that, we do it like this. I'm going to create a variable, an integer called comp for the computer, and that's going to be rand. Remember, rand is our random number generator. Rand, 
next int 3. Next int 3 will say, hey random number generator, give me a number between 0 and 2. So 0, 1, or 2. Give me an integer between 0, 1, or 2. That's what run next int 3 does. So now the user plate, the computer plate, now will print out what what the result was, right? So for the computer, so you know what you entered, and then the computer will say, I drew whatever this number is, right? Whatever that number is. Now the next thing is we want to compare it. So for example, if the user chooses rock and the computer chooses uh, uh, scissors, for example, then the user wins. If the user chooses one for paper and the computer uses two, uh, zero for rock, then the user wins. If the user chooses two for scissors and the computer uses one for paper, then the user wins. So if the user chooses zero and the computer uses, chooses two, that's it. The user choos, chose rock and the computer, me, chose scissors. The user chose paper and the computer chose rock or the user chooses scissors and the computer uses rock. What happens? These are all the, the instances in which the user wins. And when the user wins, I will print out you win and I will increase the user score by one. Else, so in, in other cases, now what if the computer wins? The computer wins if the following happens. If the user chooses rock and the computer uses, uh, if the user chooses uh, rock and the computer chooses paper, if the user chooses paper and computer chooses scissors, or if the user chooses scissors and the computer uses, uh, chooses rock. Those are all the times in which the computer wins. Therefore, we'll print I win and increase the computer score. Now, a few things to notice. This is one condition in parentheses or another condition in parentheses or another condition in parentheses. And I have to close the parentheses that I opened when I started the if. So be careful of the parentheses here. The same thing happens in this second if. So I have the two cases where the computer wins, or I win, and the scores increase. So the next step is display, to display this, right? So score U, whatever the user score is so far, and computer, whatever the computer score is so far, right? Then what we're going to do underneath this is to, uh, I'm sorry, is to close the while loop here. This curly brace and this curly brace. So this is going to be the loop. Now once I reach 10 points or the user scores 10 points, I'm going to do a little if. This if is outside of the while loop. If the computer score is greater than the user score, then the computer says I beat you. Otherwise, the computer says you beat me. So let's compile this. Of course it's saved in a file called rps.java. Let's compile this and run it. So let's run it here. Do you want to start a new game? If I say yes, I'm going to enter the while loop. Enter 0 for rock, 1 for paper, 2 for scissors. So 2, I'm going to draw scissors. I drew 0, so the computer drew rock. The computer wins, I win. Score U0, computer 1. Let's enter 0 for rock, 1 for paper, 2 for scissors. So rock now. Computer drew 1, the paper. Oh my goodness, it wins. Let's draw rock again. Oh, the computer drew paper again. It's got three points. I'm very stubborn. I'll enter zero again for rock. There you go. The computer drew two, which was scissors. So rock against scissors. I won one point. So then you can start entering stuff, right? So I'll enter scissors. The computer drew paper, so I win. Um, let's enter zero for rock now and then scissors, and then rock, uh, paper, and then rock, and then rock again. That was a tie, by the way. And then rock, and then scissors, and then rock. Oh, my goodness. And then scissors, and then scissors again. Paper, rock, rock. And then I'm just going to enter rock a lot of times. So now, I've got nine points, and the computer has seven, so let's hope I win the next one. So if I enter uh, rock again, there you go. The computer drew scissors. 
Now, my points, remember I had 9 points, now I have 10 points. Having 10 points means that the user score is not less than 10 anymore. So this is false, therefore the whole condition here is false, right? So I exit the while loop and then I should print I beat you or you beat me, right? And I print you beat me, right? So the user beats the computer. I hope you've understood this example. It's a little fun game that illustrates a while loop that basically blocks people from entering the loop. Unlike the do while, uh, um, unlike the do while loop, the do while always will go through the loop at least once. In the while, you can block entry to the loop based on some condition.